lovely Gilbert and George. And uh, we're getting very festive, very festive. And a quick reminder, the place to be on New Year's Eve will be here with us live on 4 for our FY2K Millennium Show. Uh, but of course, before that, next Friday, it's Christmas Eve, and we've got our Snow Me Show. And uh, <laughs> do you know, if we're feeling very charitable, we might just put in a special Christmas call to <laughs> Miles O'Keefe, everyone. Yes. <laughs> um, unless... Unless, of course, he's got a job for Christmas <laughs> in a grotto. Uh, <laughs> my second guest, my second guest is, like Gilbert and George, totally unique. Uh, having starred in a popular soap opera, he took the extraordinary and mole-breaking decision to pursue a career in pop music. <laughs> we salute his courage and innovation. Please welcome Adam Rickett! <laughs> I'm so pleased you're here. I'm so pleased you're here. Now, have, have you met Gilbert and George before? Um, yeah, I did briefly before, yes. Just sort of saying hello. All right, so I've washed my hands with Yes. We're all friends here. <laughs> uh, and, and, of course, you, big fans. Yeah, fans. Yeah, why? Absolutely. So glamorous, so glamorous. Oh, thank you very much. Wonderful. <laughs> no, that's really sweet. Thank you very much. No, because you, you you really like the Coronation Street, don't you? Really you nice. always watch Coronation Street. Everywhere. Oh. Always. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it, it's a huge you don't really watch No, them. a lot of people do. I mean, that's what was scary, is literally within a day, everybody knew who you were. And it was like, oh, OK, hi. God, well, that must have been so scary. It was it's at 18. Like... Just literally, one day, nobody knows you, and suddenly, after you've been on telly for one night, you go out and everybody knows who you are. Now, you were known as kind of the chest of Cory. Yeah. And do you know I'm being wheeled in as No, toxic? I didn't. Well, I knew that's why I was got in, was to do the whole sort of sex sort of thing. Sex it up, because um, we like it like that. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I didn't realise there'd be, like, the result that there was from, like, this one photo shoot where I sort of sat in some tyres, because there was quite a sort of outcry about it. Mm -hmm. Did you see those photographs? Yes, yes of course. Videos. They're very yes. good, aren't they? <laughs> Mm, we'll nod quietly for a while. Ah, <laughs> oh, sense memory. You still see them. Uh, <laughs> you added so much oomph to Coronation Street. Look, it was amazing. They even came out. Your, you had your own calendar. How lovely. And, I know, yeah, it's lovely, yeah, isn't yeah. it? It is lovely. Beautiful. And, I was say, cause did anyone else in Coronation Street ever have their own calendar? Not that I'm aware of. I think Ken no. Barlow might have done. <laughs> <laughs> not sure. I don't know if you want to know, but they sort of asked us to do it and just got some snapshots. Don't show oh, that. Oh, Mrs. Battersby. <laughs> oh, no, no, this is so sweet, because here you are in April. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm feeling with april -y. I don't know what to do. <laughs> We're only four months into the year, and it lost proposes, but then inspiration strikes for raw from me. <laughs> My mum saw it, she liked the one before, she goes, it like a greasy chip, that. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. <laughs> but now, is there any bit of yourself that you don't like? My hands. I've got tiny hands. Put your hand up. OK. See, I've, I've got... got you've know, no, got small hands, but mine yeah. are even smaller. Actually, they are. I've got Girl. tiny little hands. <laughs> 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 He's really weird. He's so deformed. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Tiny hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, so you don't like your hands? No, I really don't, and they crack my knuckles a lot. Well. <laughs> and I've got dodgy hands. God, you're falling apart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's my family, and my mum's got, like, a sort of tendon thing where she's got dry tendons. I think I've inherited it. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, got, we know it all now, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I know. <laughs> Obviously, that's where the surname Rickett comes from. <laughs> I just thought that was a silly accident. <laughs> but that, the thing is, your music career, you have... Uh, no, the, music, the music happened before the... Yeah, that's what I actually started doing originally, was, was doing the music with Nigel Martin-Smith, who did Take That and all that sort yeah. of thing. Um, joined him to do the singing, and it was literally on a day off from that, he said, look, there's an audition at Coronation Street, go along. You won't get it, because you've never done any acting, but have a go. And I sort of blagged it and lied a lot. And you did get it? Mm, mm. Much to my shame. No, God. <laughs> I was no. awful, though, to start with, but got sort of better. 
Yeah, you were very moving towards the end. Towards the end. You cried a lot. You did, didn't yeah. you? Yes. It's very painful because like, the men give you like Tiger Bond to make yourself cry and I couldn't use it because it made me sneeze. So I had to stab myself in the eye before every take. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there are better ways to act than that. <laughs> well, I felt full pubes out and I just didn't fancy doing that. <laughs> no, because in fairness, I... <laughs> oh, I, I <laughs> You don't really have enough to go round, do you? Oh, yes, you got that. Yeah, no, did you buy this? <laughs> yeah, no, there, there you are, falling out of bed, and there's still the took photographs. Oh, look what I'm doing. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but very few boobs to be pulling out. No, I've quite sort of, I've done my bikini line, it's all quite well. But does it annoy you now? Does it annoy you now? Because you are, you know, you are really pretty, and you, and you bead in a soap. Yeah. That people... I mean, it's going to be really hard for you to establish yourself with any credibility. Oh, you do, singer. yeah, but it's one of those things where there's this whole thing about being credible, um, and I just say arse to it. You know, one person's <laughs> idea of credible is another person's idea of being bad. So just get on and enjoy it yourself. It's more uh, fun that way. Uh, but now, uh, let's have a look at, because your video, you've got a new single, new single, uh, Graham yes. said in a faffy way, uh, new single coming out uh, called Best Thing, but it doesn't come out till January. January 24th. January 24th. Mm. But much excitement, we can have a sneak preview. Ooh, you like this, look up. So uh, it's a, a nice little clip off your video here. There we go. I've not seen it yet. Oh, there you are. Ooh! Oh, dear God. <laughs> Just singing along. Very <laughs> good. Well done. <laughs> Did you like the body painting? I was actually really embarrassed because it was um, in this like warehouse and it was really cold, and I had sort of nipples like bullets by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> when she circled it, it was like sort of bullseye target practice. <laughs> <laughs> But no, very, very quickly, good news. It's almost like you did this to please me. Uh, as we go into the millennium in smash hits, I'm so... Thank you for doing this. It's no, like, this is It's awful. like a gift. It's, it's like a gift to fat, ugly puffs like me. <laughs> Adam Rickett did this to himself. <laughs> that is just... <laughs> there he is. I'm not going to look like John Travolta. <laughs> I, I look like Katie Lang. I'm saying... Well, actually, I, I'm sorry. I looked at that wig and I thought, did you borrow that from Hayley <laughs> on, on Coronation Street? <laughs> I don't think John Travolta ever looked like it's that. Horren no, I, they're like, they're painting on the eyebrows and everything. It was, <laughs> it was not the most fun evening of my life. No. And it was a horrible nightclub. Nightclub was like all sticky floors and you just thought it was something out of art. They know it well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want that as a little gift? <laughs> there you go. There's some Thank pictures you. of them without the wig. Uh, you know the whole thing, uh, that Gilbert and George, they appear in, in, all, I know. in all their own yes. art. Are, are, are you interested in the whole idea of self-portraiture? Um, um, not, well, could be, but not particularly bodily functional wise. <laughs> I don't want to shit in my own hand, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm terribly sorry, but... If everyone did it, it'd be worthless. <laughs> they don't want you to join in. Okay. Fair gig. Who says? Who says? <laughs> and, but now, but now, I, I too am fascinated by the whole idea of self-portraiture. I am. And so it was with great interest that I saw this brochure for an American company uh, that makes lifelike children's dolls. Do you see? So I ordered one of myself. <laughs> and I have to say, the people at my twin, they're really painstaking. You need to send in photos, exact measurements, uh, distinguishing features, skin tone, all, all that sort of thing. And uh, my God, they, they emailed us so much for all these emails of things like, uh, sorry for the delay with the Graham Norton doll. The artists are trying very hard to match Graham's hairline. I'll let you know as soon as it's ready. Uh, we, we do think we've got the eyebrows at just the right arch and all that. So anyway, finally, finally, the joy, the joy when a box arrived from America and I opened it to find <laughs> this. Oh, it's like looking in a mirror. If any of you are at home thinking, oh no, but they got the clothes quite right. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Can I just say, we made the suit. This is what they expected me to wear. 
action man. Oh, a woven leather belt. <laughs> I think not. The eyes are quite similar. Oh, you're talking the yeah. eyes. What kind of glassy? <laughs> 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 But staying, staying with the idea of, of self-portraits, you can tell just by looking at our audience. There we go. <laughs> They're very artistic and sensitive people. So before the show, we asked them to create their own self-portraits. The results display a certain naive charm and almost childlike <laughs> exuberance. In fact, they're all rubbish. So uh, let's take a look at them now as we play Gallery of Robes. Come with me. We've got uh, Matt Buxton. Where's Matt Buxton? Hello, Hello Matt. Hi. Um, I'd Very say good. this is really good, isn't it? Very extremely good. good. Extremely, good. Very extremely good. good. Gilbert and George like it. See the bit of the vomit? What's that? It's a, it's a, you vo have you vomited up an entire fish? <laughs> a penis? No, it's not a penis. <laughs> <laughs> a nice nose and hair. The hair actually is Very good. Actually, it is really good. No, that's just good. No, there's nowhere to go with it. Uh, this is uh, Raj. Where's Raj? Hello, sir. Hiya. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, look, you're with teacher. Oh. Do you not teach art, do you? Yes. You do? Dear. Possibly shouldn't be showing students that bad. Very good. Mm? Extremely good. Before the hat and after the hat. Yes, yeah, so with a hat it would work. <laughs> oh, oh, we like this person. Who, who made this? Who made this? <laughs> Hello, nice woman. And, uh, and <laughs> yeah, in fairness, you don't look that like this. <laughs> Maybe it's the clothes, I don't think. But uh, the thing that really appealed to us about this was that this doll, hooray, is anatomically correct. <laughs> Very good. She's been around. Uh, <laughs> here's Mark. Where's Mark? Hello, Mark. Look, Mark, has, look, he, instead of piss or shit or anything, he's used his own hair. Very good. Ha have you done that? Yes, we have. They've done it. It's so passe. <laughs> <laughs> it's repetitive. It's blah, 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 blah. Oh, but look, the, now, see, that's an interesting thing to do. To cut out the eyes. Brilliant. brilliant. Is that brilliant? Absolutely brilliant. He stabbed himself. He brilliant. stabbed himself in the eye. Very good. You keen on that one, Adam? Lovely. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> You're an art lover, Adam? Um, not at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we must decide on, on a winner. I have to say, I, I think my favourite is that first one. The first one is brilliant. Is that who you... Should we say? Vomit Boy, yeah. Do you like Vomit Boy? Yeah. Yes? We're all going for that one? Yeah? yeah. We all like Matt Buxton, age 27. Matt yeah. Buxton, age 27, you're our winner. Yeah. Come on, man! Very excitingly, you have won. You have won. No, that you've won. Honestly, you might shit yourself when you hear this. Because <laughs> you've won a first-class day return to Milton Keynes to see the Gilbert and George exhibition. <laughs> We are going to create our own special Gilbert and George portrait of myself and my uncanny look-alike doll. <laughs> so, uh, Gilbert and George, if you could take the place of the audience, yeah. off, off you, off you fly, ish. <laughs> <laughs> She's nearly broke the art. <laughs> uh, and uh, audience, audience, if you could hold up your icons for the show, please. Very, that's right. Yes, very good. And I'll nip round the back to the blue screen with my little twin. All right, here we go. So much stairs. Very good, very good. Nicely held. Oh, miles and a pig. Very good. All right, here we go. Ooh, down the stairs. Ooh, a bit dodgy. Ooh, look at Danica Rice. Ooh, ooh, give us a blue. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, it's a nice bit of blue screen. Mmm, we salute it. And that twin goes over here. Lovely, like that. Oh, you'll like this when it's done. Okay. Arm goes up like that. Very good. And then I go over here like this. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? Smile, everyone. <laughs> Very good. Well done. That's it, everyone. Thanks to my guest, Gilbert George. And that's the lovely Adam Ricketts.
Respira aqui, Cristiano! Vai lá! 